You notice how whenever you jump into a game, it obviously randomly picks one of the races to start playing yeah. the music from. The Terran music, while the best, 100%, yes. is always way louder than everyone else. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, here in the top right-hand corner of the map, Daybreak, we have our Blue Zerg player from the team, TSL. It is uh, their new player trying to take a game back. It's Symbol. And his opponent in the lower left-hand corner from the team, FX Open Esports. Winner of the last game, our yellow Terran player, is the best. And we'll have to see the best can continue to be the best the best <laughs> so in symbol he's gonna have tough you know tough because uh zergs love daybreak even though everyone says it's the most balanced map in stargraph 2 i've noticed that i have not found a zerg player that does not love daybreak That's they right. all like if i lose i'm playing on daybreak um and uh yeah it's it's a solid map choice when you're playing against protoss players three base no gas works really well because the amount of attack pass and flanking opportunities against terran players you love the ability to position broodlords basically everywhere on the map and ultralists are e even super viable because of how exposed the fourth base everything is, in the is open on this map for ultras it's incredible yeah so we'll see what uh, Symbol decides to go down now. We saw how Ragnarok handled the last couple of games, and that was to go for a very quick macro hatch. Four queens, creep spread out, a little bit later third, and then, well, interesting tech oh, choices. Scouting for proxies there, that was a little strange. Yeah. Um, uh, unexpected. You know, though, I can't remember the last time I saw back-to-back -back tech TVZs, and I'm wondering now if the best is going to do the exact same thing now that Symbol saw exactly what that build was two games in a row. You know, you see... It's nice in team leagues when you can see what the player before you did in reaction to what the opponent did, and it's always a mental game, you know, am I going to do the exact same strong build I'm comfortable with, or do I need to switch things up since someone just saw exactly what my plan is? And, you know, you're always kind of nervous against doing the exact same thing for a second or now third time. Okay, there we go. I wonder what that uh, drone was doing there for a while. Just going to put down a spawning pool. Uh, yeah, you know, opening with that four queen build, it, it doesn't allow you to put on a ton of pressure right away at the beginning of the game unless you decide to do something drastic like uh, four gas, two base mute or something like that, Lenox style. Um, so I think the best in Gumiho, even though Gumiho's execution uh, wasn't the best, he, he tried to play for too late of a game and didn't prepare for Broodlords, was still kind of cool. Like, okay, yeah. you're not going to put pressure on me unless you're doing something very specific, which I can prepare for, and I'm just going to go up to mech. Yep. So I really like the decision-making for that, since you know you can't really put pressure. Like, you know, Terran's the way they used to play, You'd put marine pressure on, you'd build a bunker, even if it was a feint. You'd try to put pressure, do some damage, take your hellions, do some damage. You can't do damage anymore, so like, okay, huh. well, I'll just play super greedy, make you be aggressive on me, and see what happens when we both get up to five base. The I actually like turned. that approach to it. If, if you can't do it early anymore, then you got to change your game up and do something, you know, use your racist strengths to a disadvantage. Terrans are having trouble. But, you know, if you can't just keep doing the same thing that doesn't work anymore, you got to try some new things. And I really like that both FXO players so far have said, you know what, we can't do damage, but we're going to do something else. I'm going to get up high economy and is the best did, you know. You're not ready for my attack. I'm just going to go kill you right now. That's right. Now, the best ended up opening with Banshees last go around. Uncloaked Banshees. Didn't do too much damage with them. It was mostly the follow-up that was able to uh, to work for him. And we'll see if he has a different look this go around. Now, Symbol uh, is going right for a third queen. Aren't we going to see a fourth? No, he's yep. actually oh, double. there it is. Okay, there we go. So it is a four queen build. Double gassing just once again. Kind of an interesting order about it. Again, Zerg build orders aren't as much like, and Stefano kind of said it best. It's not like, oh, I'm I'm going to put down this on X supply and this on Y supply. It's more like, I have a bunch of drones. This is about the right time to start yeah. throwing down these structures. It's kind of a little more open in that regard. Yeah, I like that approach for most races, quite honestly. Oh, wow. Oh, that is... That's really early. Really early, Roach Warren. And to me, you know, he's still making drones now, but I would... If he's not expecting either heavy Hellion pressure for some reason, he is probably going to get aggressive with that Roach more. That is really, really early. And we have a second factory coming up for the best as well. And really early armory, too, by, by uh, the best. A lot earlier than he did last game, where he yep. dropped them double after uh, probably about 8-minute mark. This is much faster for both players, so I don't I don't. Armory usually doesn't mean heavy pressure from Terran, but an early Roach Warren usually means pressure from Zerg. That's right, and we'll see how many he decides to make here in a bit. A couple of Overlords to make sure he doesn't get supply blocks in the short term as well. He's so also saved, he's also saved all his larvae, yeah, so yep. he's going to go into the heavy Roach production, and uh, the best does not have the Great Wall of China set up yet in front of his natural. 
Um, that's actually very vulnerable. Not even a bunker yet. Nine roaches on the way. And all blue flame Hellions so far. No tanks at all. And as we know, Hellions not exactly the most effective against roaches. So, And the best has not seen what his opponent is up to. Seven more roaches popping out now. Uh, oh my god, he's going to have 13 in a second. How many is he going to end up producing? Uh Oh wow, boy. He, he's being really smart with this, keeping the backfills ready, and then it's like, drop it and go. And this is what I was talking about. Do you do the same thing for a third time? Oh, he's bringing the queens too, saving energy for transfuse. And the best has to know something's up. I mean, you don't expose your queens like that. So oh, he's, he's just taking the tower so that the Hellions couldn't see the roaches. This is brilliant, and he's not going to have any idea, even if he scouts the base <laughs> now, what's coming. That this is, is so, awesome. so smart. This SCV is going to see it, and the best is going to flip out. He's done the same build for the third time in a row, and he is not ready for this hard counter to it at all. All right. That is a lot of roaches already. 13 of them, as a matter of fact, pulls all of his SCVs <laughs> back into his main. He knows that that bunker alone is not going to be oh, enough. Oh, he is in so much trouble now. I don't know if he can hold this. He's going to have to mass repair the bunkers, and even so, he's going to lose so many SCVs. And he switches over to this supply depot off to the side. Very smart. He can start working his way through now on upgraded Marines and Hellions against Roaches. Not the best fight in the world. He's already killed two, now three of those Hellions. I'm sorry, of those Roaches, but Roaches just keep marching forward now, picking off workers slowly but surely. Yeah, he's going to lose. He pulled literally all of his workers off the line. He's losing so many of them. He's losing Losing Hellions and Symbol did so much damage with that push. See? Eight workers and he stopped mining for a good minute and a half. It is 60 workers, I'm sorry, 55 workers, 229 at the moment. So uh, uh, Symbol did do his damage, but he didn't kill the best. He did leave 30 yeah. workers alive. There are still two bases to replenish that worker count and pretty good tech out for the best now. And obviously, yeah, he's switching already into tanks. So he's going to have uh, be a little bit more prepared in that regard. We probably will see Siege tech coming up as well. Not to say that uh, Symbol hasn't put himself in a good position. He has, 100% yeah. he has. Um, but the best does have an opportunity to try and uh, kind of worm his way back into the game. Yeah, I'm a little surprised Symbol didn't focus more on killing SCVs than killing Hellions, and he also didn't take his third during that. I'm a little surprised. I didn't even notice until the Hellions were there, but yeah, he did not take his third. He just went for a macro hat. Now he's taking his third, but I would have liked to see him take that third earlier. He would be up now, and I would have really liked to see him focus on killing the SCVs rather than the Hellions because, you know, you see that building wall. He's prepared against Hellions as far as protecting his workers. He really didn't need to focus on keeping the number that low compared to how valuable it would have been to kill like 10 more SCVs. That's right. And the amount of creep tumors here is just staggering. Oh. So he's going to be able to spread that creep so quickly. Um, let's see now what the best is doing to prepare. Plus two weapons coming up. Looks like a little bit of a glass cannon army coming out of him. He won't have a lot of sustainability, but he will be able to deal out quite a bit of damage very quickly if those roaches get trapped a bit out of position. That's a little bit of a late siege tech. I would like to see that earlier. If there was any follow-up from Symbol, he wouldn't be ready for it again but uh game is shaping up very very nicely to be a nice macro game i expect the best to try to get another cc now if he didn't it must be some kind of a time push oh wow the hellion's going in the main and he might do a lot of damage with this because there aren't that many roaches left that's right uh, and it looks like those uh hellions trying to make their way oh, into the main nice but a wall. very nice block and roaches reinforcing just in time and now the hellions are trapped so went from possibly being able to do a lot of damage to none at all <laughs> Yeah, I think he got one drone with those, uh, what was that, seven Hellions. Very, very nice reaction by Symbol, even though he didn't have a lot of units. Perfect wall, and this creep spread, man. That's insane. These these Zerg players are so good with this four queen build, spreading the creep across the map. The best is going to see it creeping up to his third base soon, and that's absolutely insane for this early in the game. That's right. Very mechanical with this as well. The creep spread actually reaches its maximum range before the cooldown finishes for another spawn creep tumor. Like, that is just Yeah, ridiculous. for people that don't know, more creep tumors actually does make the creep yes. spread faster. So having those five makes a lot, a big difference, whereas this one one tumor would take much, much longer to spread the creep this far. And now, if the best wasn't in a precarious situation before, he's doubly so now because his opponent has gone up to a fourth base. So, Symbol did decide to double expand after that initial pressure at the beginning of the game. It has a ton of resources banked. For what purpose? I'm actually not sure yet. 24 larvae available as well. Yeah, oh, he, there's he's, infestors. Yeah, infestors, it looks like, is what's going to be. Especially because now he knows it's mechs. All I do is make Roach Infestor and then go up to Broodlord. That's the plan. Um, it's going to be up to the best to try to counter that because we saw how that went the first game against Gumiho when he wasn't prepared for the Broodlords. 
So he's going to have to have that either double starboard Viking or pre-make the Vikings in anticipation of that switch. Because Mech does a pretty decent job of holding off. Wow. <laughs> Stop my thinking right there. Great That's Wall of China awesome. version 2 right there. Again. Oh my god, the best. He well, really wants to stop the run buys. Yeah, no kidding. So he's not going to die to an attack. He is just going to sit up, make his army, and then uh, try and punish his opponent. That may be a little bit too late. Oh, especially as he is just bypassing this wall altogether. But it looks like he sees all of the units inside of the main and decides, well, I, I don't know if uh, 17 Roaches is going to do all that much. Enough, but I, I'm curious because the best is, I don't think he started a third CC yet. <laughs> so he's going to have to do a two base timing or there's no way he's going to be able to catch up in this game. He's already 50 supply back, two bases down. So it looks like he's just trying to get to a max mech army. He's now making the Vikings. He's getting the upgrades. He's just going to have to say, no matter what you build, I can kill you. And then he's just going to try to move out with a max army of, hopefully a max army can kill whatever it is that Symbol has, because Symbol will be able to make anything, replenish it instantly. There's the Spire going up. Hive is halfway done. Um, the best is going to have to make his move very, very quickly before Symbol gets to the top of his tech tree. May seem like I'm concentrating on this creep spread a little much, and I apologize for that, but I'm a bit flabbergasted at the moment. This is actually a little insane. Oh my god, oh, this he's, is going to be a huge wow, roach drop. Wow, he's dropping almost his entire army into the best base, and it doesn't even matter. He's banked 2k, he's maxed, you just have to get rid of supply. And trading with someone who's on two bases is extremely effective. They cannot remake their army as fast as Symbol can. That's right. Simmel doing a very nice job of ducking his overlords out of the way as well. Hasn't taken too much damage to those Vikings that are running around. So, um, But yeah, as we can see, Kreese Red has almost covered the entire map now, and he is just going to drop oh right on man. in. Oh, man. Doom there's, drop incoming. And there's already a couple of tanks that are sieged up, and immediately Simmel says, all right, well, that's enough. I'm out of there. Yeah, I guess he just didn't want to trade the army, but I really think he needs to try to get rid of that supply soon because right now he's just banking and banking and banking and the best is catching up in supply. That's right, and there's no anti-air here, so these Vikings are actually going to catch up and do quite a bit of damage. They've already killed, what, four of those overlords oh, and uh, continuing to increase. Yeah, he's going to lose a lot. He's going to have to remake a lot of overlords. Luckily, it's not really going to affect him that much with his 4k bank, but he does have to be careful because he cannot remax his army right now. He really needs to get rid of those Vikings before he loses too many more overlords. Nice job transfusing one of those out, but uh, but yeah, I mean, it's to the point now where the best is about ready to uh, completely max out, and from how we saw how eager he was to uh, pull SEVs in the first game to repair up units, I would not be surprised when this eventual attack happens for him to just pull everything off the line and go. Yeah, the, really, there's no point in saving SEVs at this point. He has to win with this attack, or do a significant amount of damage with this attack, or he'll be in a lot of trouble. And uh, sees that huge uh, amount of roaches up at the so front. Many roaches. The upgrades aren't really great, though, for the uh, for the roaches. Just sitting on one one to plus three weapons out of the best. Yeah, symbol is um he's got two two on the way. He has melee attack also on the way, and he had a uh, he has oh wow he didn't have zergling speed. I saw him upgrading cracklings, and I was going to say, but he does not have <laughs> zergling speed. So he is on pure roach. He's not going to be able to have lings to help support this at all. And he's building a hydrogen because he knows it. He could actually be a little bit unprepared because he doesn't have Broodlords yet. All right, well, uh, Symbol is going ahead, running up, trying to pick off a couple of Hellions. Like you said, can get to the point where he can remax, but don't forget, Broodlords do take a million years to come up. And look at that, Symbol has literally bases. taken every base on the map now because uh, he wants to ensure that his opponent has no conceivable way to, to macro his way out of this. And After this attack, bit by <laughs> bit. That is a hell of a lot of SCVs. 24 of them pulled off the line now. Uh, 24 of the 47 on the field. And he's going to continue to deny creep Oh, tumors. I love the counterattack and the wall's oh down. Oh, my God. And Symbol gets right in. Full on base trade in effect. Full on base trade, but this is kind of interesting. Symbol is exposing himself to, uh, to some damage as well. And he's actually, okay, there we go. Finally, I was about to say, no liftoff from the best quite yet. All the add-ons are going to go down, but the best is now going to be able to run in and deny his opponent's uh, tech very, very quickly. So what's interesting, I actually had a game like this happen. I've been playing a lot of Zerg lately. If you just make hatcheries everywhere and you have a more mobile army, you can just keep teching and making trash units, throwing them away in a base trade situation against a Terran. Symbol you would normally think is in a lot of trouble because he doesn't have air units against a Terran base trade, but he has hatcheries everywhere. Literally everywhere. Literally everywhere. So he can, if he can somehow, yeah, he can save drones, he will actually be okay. And he has killed almost all of the best supply depots, so the best is not going to be able to remake his army either. 
And it looks like a couple of structures are going to burn to the ground. So, yeah, that Great Wall of China, as you said before, uh, working a little bit against the best because it wasn't raised in time and now is uh, going to be completely obliterated as well. So, the best is going to clean up Hive Tech now. He needs to be able to start picking off some Overlords, admittedly, because uh, he's really going to want to supply block his opponent as well. Uh, as we see, a Mutalisk and a few Roaches being produced one more time. So, Symbol is uh, remaxed, but he is going to need to start remaking his uh, spawning pools across yeah, the map. If he me remakes his tech quickly enough, he'll actually be fine. Oh, and he built, that's very smart, build another Roach Warren, and he actually has enough larva all around the map that if his rallies aren't intercepted, he can keep remaking Roaches. And he has Burrow, and the best can't scan, and he doesn't have a Raven. That's right. So it looks like, oh, he's landed his orbital command, so he can actually scan. But the problem is uh, one shot from all these Roaches, and this would be on fire, so he's certainly going to have to watch out for that. Like, he has to see it. I don't know why he didn't go for that. And he scans and sees the army. The roaches are trying to run in now. Oh, he because has to see it right now. The roach warren is still up, and there's 15 larvae out there, so he can actually remax after trading. Yeah, this is incredible. Yeah, Symbol has set himself up incredibly well. He gets queens, he gets his instructors back up, and if he gets his production back up, the best will be dead because he just has this army and he has to win with this. Symbol actually has infestors in there now, too. That's right. A bunch of infestors, 10 of them, as a matter of fact. And uh, oh, throwing nice down fungal. one fungal does pin some of those Hellions in place. Isn't able to kill anything quite yet, but still, what a crazy back and forth we have now. And with that four queen opening, his creep all over the place. That's Best right. has to waste scans on these creep tumors to keep the mobility of the roaches down, but he needs to save those scans because of the burrow. He won't be able to see anything at all if he uses all of his scans. And here's what I was talking about. Oh, it lives off just in time, but there are corruptors overhead, so a little bit additional damage could be done. Even a few infested Terrans could drop down if he wants and start picking away at those. It's going to force Symbol's hand a little bit. And he hasn't been able to pick off the Roach Warren yet, so that means his opponent that? can That's still remax. That's incredible to me that he would leave that there. He didn't oh see it. Oh, my God. And now, you know, he's not going to use the Infested Terran because he needs to save for the Fungal, but what can the best do here? He can't be everywhere at once. No, it looks like he's going to try and uh, reset up here for a little while, but... The problem is he just has no way to go after this army. Oh! oh! And the problem is the best has zero, no medevacs. That's so once right. he stems on that army, that HP is good for the rest, is done for the rest of the game. And Simple could just bait stems going in and out and whittle down the Marines. And once the Marines, you know, the meat for the siege tank front is down, he's not going to have anything to protect them. And there's a spawning pool once again, so uh, there we have it. Uh, he'll need to remake this Roach Warren eventually, as it will. It's off of creep, so it will lose enough health that it will eventually die. This is still a massive army that's out for Symbol, though he's maxed with 72 Roaches and 10 Infestors. And those handful of Corruptors are good enough to start uh, denying quite a bit of and this. And he has enough money to last in the rest of the game, too. Sitting on 7k, he only needs to get his extractors. The best has to go now. He's only getting further and further behind. Oh, great fungals! Oh my god, it pins down all the air units as well, adding insult to injury there. Um, uh, down to 68 roaches, but of course he can start to reproducing stuff like that. And the best is just very, very indecisive at the moment. Yeah, the best... He oh, here comes the fight, and he's going to have to win this. All right, well, there's a fair number of siege tanks, but there are so many roaches up. In addition, Infested Terran just keep getting dropped while Fungals pin everything down, and the best is down to just 20 supply, loses everything the 150 of his opponent. There's GG, and Symbol wins the game for TSL. What a crazy game number three.